HIV is a virus, and the virus somehow gains entry into the bloodstream. Once it's in the bloodstream, HIV is able to attack a cell called a lymphocyte. And these lymphocytes are what your body uses to mount defenses against all kinds of diseases, including bacteria and other viruses like the flu or even cancer. HIV gets into those immune cells and that's where it can replicate itself. It makes more copies of HIV, more of these immune cells become infected, and they eventually succumb to HIV, and HIV kills those cells. And once they're dead, and your body is starting to lose more of these immune cells, you can become uh, susceptible to a lot of other infectious diseases. Two ways that HIV is transmitted is through intravenous drug use, uh, reusing and sharing needles. And the other way is you risk HIV infection by having unprotected sex with an HIV infected person. Once you have HIV, until there is a genuine cure, you're infected for life. So I think it's still very important that the public know that HIV is still a threat in society. The early 80s was the beginning of the HIV pandemic and, and when you saw, I think most notable to a lot of people of that generation was the Grim Reaper ad. That, that really sent shockwaves throughout the community and everyone was wanting to go get tested and there needed to be education and the entire Australian society came together and, and wanted to fight against the, the virus. HIV rates have remained relatively stable over the past three years. After the steady decline in the 90s, we saw HIV rates almost double in the early 2000s. Rates should have actually decreased after this spike, but we've remained at this steady rate. Three quarters of all STIs in Australia occur amongst young Australians. One in 20 young Australians has an STI. It's the same unsafe behaviour that can lead to the transmission of HIV. So are we just sitting on a ticking time bomb? Are we just pretty lucky right now that we haven't seen a big rise in this? And what, what what are we doing about it? Not very much. Why do so many young Australians not know very much about HIV? And what information do we need to make available to them so that they do, so that they don't expose themselves and we do maintain really low rates? Colleagues in the industry